Hello, welcome to Expat American. I am the Expat American. Today I am at a park in Russia, in Moscow, Russia specifically. The question for this video, is Russia pagan? I'm at a festival with a bunch of Russians and behind me is a life-size doll of a girl and as the sun sets on this festival, they are going to burn this girl. Семенос, да. Это у нас как раз во Флориде. Максим, где папа? Ready? My lady, Christoph, my scene. The metro is not the only way to travel in Moscow. If you are in a rush, you can take a taxi, of course, like any big city. We just uh, crossed a good portion of Moscow without traffic. It took us 30 minutes. Check out the snow falling. It's like little pellets. I'm going to go to a new holiday tradition. For me, one that I've never been to before. I'll investigate it and decide if it's something that I want to start doing annually or not. It sounds a bit strange and intriguing. Where are we going? We are going to see how Russians celebrate a pagan holiday, Maslenitsa. A pagan holiday? Yes, I think so. And what is it exactly? So I'm not exactly sure, but what I was told, that's a day when Russians want to say goodbye to a long, cold winter and say hello to a nice sunny spring. That's why they burn this chuchula, whatever it's called. And you grew up celebrating this? Yes, every year. I can hear music as we approach. Is this the girl that they're going to burn? I don't think they will burn this one. It's too nice. Двоём уселись, да? Привет! Привет! Ну да, Джо там увидел какую-то женщину в сарафане, говорит, её сжигать будут. Я говорю, нет, её не будут. Молодец, сын! Маша сильная! Павел's child is beating mine. Помоги я! Крестов, Крестов, не помогай! Когда? Ты сказал? Да, да, да! Хорошо! Эксперт Павел Кабанов! Он слишком близко подходит. Да. I'm already tired. Serious one. Serious Russian Jenga. Да, хорошо, спасибо. Oh, that's good enough for me. Maladies! Ura! What's this? 
Åh, 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 här kör jag. Åh, Porsche. Äta? Så trissar jag på Apo. Åh! Jag är expert! Ja. Vad är Maslenitsa? Låt oss börja med något unusual. As far as I know, the Maslenitsa is the oldest holiday in Russia. The oldest of all holidays that are celebrated in a government scale. Uh, we don't know exactly how it was. It is debatable as far as I know. I'm not the expert in history, but as far as I know, it's debatable about how it was before the Christianity comes in into the Russian. It is the Eastern Slavic holiday only. There is no Western type of Maslinica, but if you want something simpler, in a simple way, it's uh, more like uh, Mardi Gras or Carnival in uh, Western Europe. I think this is all this festival has connection with the spring equinox. It makes a lot of sense because the uh, winter ends and the spring starts like everything new, the nature changes, uh, plus a lot of symbols correspond to the new beginning and the ending of something old. Is Christoph allowed to do that? Shut the deal it. Okay, it looks like Christoph and Masha are running through a hay maze. Christoph, how are you, Maxim? What is this thing right here? I think it's something like the old stuff they set on fire and they going with it, uh, just like the symbol of the holiday. Like Nothing to fan, special. To fan the flames, maybe. Maladets Christoph. So behind us is the life-size girl that they're going to burn. Scarecrow. Scarecrow, but it is a female scarecrow. Mm -hmm. So why? Why are they burning a woman? It because it's named Maslinitsa, and the Maslinitsa is a girl's name, but not name. It's a, not a human name. So. In Russian, some words are female and some words are male. The word Maslinitsa means battery, something like that, is a woman's name. That is why she is like women. And uh, actually, she must be on a big pole. And the pole itself, as far as I know, called Kostroma. Kostroma is a city in Russian. So this is, doesn't make sense, still funny. Hmm. Is that maybe where it started? Mm, I think not. <laughs> Look around. Is this something that looks different from the, the one you can see in Middle Age, Middle Evil Europe? I think it's exactly the same. Nothing like Slavic specific here. I can't see anything specific. Can you? No, I cannot. It looks just like what I might see in a British film or a... Hollywood period movie. From the Christianity times, it's just strict to the Christianity, uh, Christianity traditions. So right after the Maslinitsa ends, and the Maslinitsa not the festival, not the carnival, not the Western type of uh, holidays. It lasts for the whole week, from the Monday till the Sunday. And the uh, last day, is, it's all about uh, good things. It's all about uh, saying I'm sorry in the Sunday to the one you maybe just offend something or do something bad for someone. You must say I'm sorry. And uh, plus there is a wedding going on in the Muslims. And right after the Muslims, so uh, like right after the carnival, there is a great land started so i don't know what, what, what i can say bad about it 
about uh, holidays. It's old, so if uh, I I don't know, maybe uh, like five thousand years last, and uh, holidays are still there. M maybe it's good. <laughs> oh, Bosha, Christoph, yes. Aha. Christoph, what do you think of this holiday? Uh, it's good. It is. You yeah. like it? Yeah. What's your favorite part? I don't know. Ask Masha what her favorite part is. Uh, what's your favorite part? What did she say? Uh, she said uh, she don't know what I say. Okay, my favorite part was when Pavel yanked me off the block of wood with the rope and when I was able to walk on these stilts when all the other Russian men were falling down. I had heard that this is a holiday that Christianity doesn't necessarily like, but Pavel is telling me otherwise. Um, I also didn't know if this holiday would be a little bit creepy. Um, so far, no bears, no bad guys, no scary places, scary things, scary people, dirty places. Uh, none of that. Just a bunch of happy families. What do you want to tell us about pancakes on this day? <sighs> Don't lose our spot in line because I want to eat them. Yeah. There is a very highly spread mistake about the blini, the thin pancakes. Uh, Crepes. A lot of people think that it symbolizes the sun. There is no sun right now, but you get the point other Eastern Slavic uh, nations do not have blini like the main dish in Maslenica. So it proves that it's the same festival, the same holidays, but different eating. It's about uh, saying good for the one who died. Wait, the one who died, you mean Jesus or just someone that you care about that died? Anyone. I just met Tatiana, she is a YouTuber. Tatiana, what is Maslenica? Maslenica берет свое начало еще с язычества. Древние считали блин символом солнца, и когда они его съедали, они думали, что получают частичку тепла и могущества. She said that the Maslenica is an old holiday. It takes his start even before the Christianity, before the Christian started in Russia. Uh, the old people think that they eat blini, they get the part of the sun's force. <laughs> so is Maslenica Christian? Now it's a Christian Christianity holiday, but it was not. Before. It used to be pagan. Pagan, yes. I'm here with Yakov from our video, How Old is Written Russian Language. He can't speak English, so he doesn't know what I'm saying about him. But we're on a little adventure with Maxime, who needed to go to the bathroom. We waited in our blini line, our pancake line. When we got to the pancakes, they were all out. So we've been waiting in another pancake line. And then Maxime needed to go to the bathroom. So Yakov, is he okay? Oh, he just fell down. Of course, it wasn't me that tripped him. Yakov helped us find a toilet because some of the toilets nearby were closed. And now it's snowing pellets again. We have almost made it to the pancakes. And they've got little hard bread circles hanging off the rope and people keep coming up and breaking them off with their hand and eating them. Is that sanitary? We decided not to get pancakes because we were sick of waiting in line and now we are in line for the uh, museum admissions ticket. 
um, because we are cold, Svetlana especially, but both of us, our feet are freezing, um, so we're gonna get warm inside this museum, hopefully. So beautiful. While we're waiting for the scarecrow girl to be burned and we're freezing, we decide we'd come into this warm museum. What do you think of this place? It's a good. Yeah? Yeah. What does it remind you of? I don't know. It reminds me of a king's palace because that's what it is. Are you tired? Yes. Maxim, что это? Это лев? What is it? I don't know. It's called a crossbow. So it's when bow and arrows were technology were becoming like gun technology. I wonder how accurate this replica is of the way it used to be. Look at this cool hall. They have old maps on the wall and they have all the stained glass windows. T show a stall. Да. Я хочу блини. Блини? Я да. тоже хочу блини. I can't wait in more than two lines. No blini for me today. Тип все блини? Just did some sort of dance with one of the dolls. Now they've taken her up on stage in front of the crowd. Not sure what they're doing actually. More happy family fun. Look at how beautiful the side of this palace is. Looks pretty innocent to me, and if it is as Pavel says that it is now adopted elements of Christianity, at this point I don't see what the harm is in this holiday, and um, I wouldn't say that Russia is pagan because of it. Davai, davai, Christoph! We call this tug of war in America. I think Christoph is losing. So I don't know if they're going to burn the doll or not, the life-size Maslanitsa girl. Um, they're continuing to sing and have a great time and the sun setting. It's very beautiful here um, inside and next to this wooden palace. So what do you think? How does this holiday compare to other holidays in your part of the world? Halloween perhaps? Maybe something else? Click like, subscribe, ring the bell notification, click the share button right now, interrupt my speech and send this to your friends, and click the box to see what happens next.
So we are all still waiting for them to burn the chuchula, the scarecrow girl. Bunch of people crowded up on the stairs there for a better view. You can see Pavel and his family waiting. Maybe it's like Groundhog Day in America. You know, if the groundhog sees its shadow or doesn't see its shadow and goes in its hole, you got more or less winter. They did not burn the girl. And so that means Russia is not pagan. Is that how that works? Now to find my wife and children that are hiding in the warm cafe. Oh, go. Um, um. I got my pancakes after all. Or maybe Christians that are super sensitive. Snigurichka. Snigurichka? <laughs> Aha, Snigurichka. Let's burn her.